Like clockwork, every four years we have a presidential election, and this time the power is swinging from Republicans to Democrats in the Capitol. This morning we're looking at how much it will impact us here in Ohio. Our digital anchor Stephanie Haney tackled that in her Three Things to Know podcast this week. She joins us now with a preview. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. You know, there is a lot of uncertainty right now, but one thing is for sure. Our next president is Joe Biden. With Democrats now in control in D.C., I wanted to talk with experts about what that will mean for us here in Ohio. For the Democratic perspective, I talked with our U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown. She will be an appealing presence in Ohio. I know he lost Ohio. Ohio is, as you point out, Stephanie, increasingly harder for a Democrat to win. But I won here only decisively only a couple of years ago. Um, Joe Biden's politics now are not much different from mine, and I think people will get more and more to more and more appreciate the work he does to to help people get jobs, to raise wages, to provide health and pension benefits to people, and that will matter. For the conservative viewpoint, I talked with Republican strategist Mahek Cook, who served as legal advisor for former Ohio Governor John Kasich when he ran for the Republican presidential nomination in 2016. Well, it's going to be interesting how. Joe Biden works with Ohio because we are Republican controlled. During the G Georgia races, he made several comments that he was going to be the most progressive president. That is not what Americans need right now. We want a solid foundation where we can protect the safety of our families, our communities, ensure that we can get back to work and reopen Ohio. We covered how they think a Biden presidency will impact us here in Ohio when it comes to COVID vaccines, the economy, the opioid epidemic, and so much more. For the two-part episode, just search for Three Things to Know with Stephanie Haney wherever you get your podcasts. And it's also, as always, linked on WKYC.com. Stephanie, it sounds like you covered a lot of ground with this one with interesting insight from both sides of the aisle. Thank you.